Radio City Music Hall. It's the 2002 VMA opening act, and it just wouldn't be a Video Music Awards without this woman here. Brittany, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Always great to see you. You too. Now, the last three years, I think, you performed at this show. Uh -huh. This year, not performing is a pressure off, in a sense, a little bit. It feels so good <laughs> to not have to worry about a performance, seriously. Just be able to come and try to look pretty and, and just no enjoy. And no snakes. Hell it's a, yeah. It's a good Hell thing. Yeah. Three okay. nominations tonight. Uh -huh. Would any of those mean the most to you? Any of those categories? Probably best female, just because yeah. that's just, I don't know. It's just, you know what, seriously, just to win any, though, would be amazing. It's like a dream come true, like, if I could do that. Ever since I was a little girl, that's all I've ever wanted. So, man, just to be nominated is amazing. So, exactly. we'll see. A little. Now, we keep hearing a lot about these. Is it six months off you're taking? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us at all what you're going to be doing in that time? Well, I've been in New York for a while already, uh -huh. just, like, decorating my apartment and just doing fun girl checking stuff. Checking out the so restaurant? Checking out my restaurant, <laughs> yes. Right. So, yeah, just hanging out, man. Yeah. How about movie stuff? Is there anything in the works as far I as I don't really want to say. I mean, there's, there's a movie that I'd love to do in October, but we're not really sure, so. We'll Final see. quick reaction. So many of us are looking forward to seeing what Justin's solo performance is going to be like. I, I am, are you too. Looking forward I'm to so it? looking forward we're, to it. We're all got our fingers crossed yes. for him. Yes. Have a great night. Well, thank you so much. All right, much. good thank to you. see you. you Let's too. check in with Kurt and Sujin, guys. Well, look at that, Brittany, all Very grown nice up. <laughs> all right, well, uh, Pharrell Williams, one half of the production duo known as the Neptunes, has spent the past five years slamming out hot tracks for everybody from Jay-Z to the Backstreet Boys. Well, tonight, he's responsible for four Moon Men-nominated tracks. By now, Pharrell is a pretty familiar face to every TRL viewer. So tonight, let's give him his own little show, ladies and gentlemen. Here is pa 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 P R L. Today, you are watching Pharrell's Request Live. If this guy had his own countdown show, this is my show, these would be some of the songs he'd pick. It's NSYNC and this is Girlfriend. It's Nelly with Hot and Her. Break it down now. Beyonce with Work It Out. Holla Back. It's Fabulous with Young and Holla Back. Thank God. Britney Spears with Slave For You. My boy Busta and P. Diddy and myself, Pastor Cavassier. He'd choose them because they have a special meaning to him. He produced them. You gonna tell that brother? Everybody sing it now. Everybody sing it now. His name is Pharrell Williams, one half of the production duo The Neptunes. He makes hits. I'm looking at your daughter, and she's shaking her booty to my baby. Give me girls. I'm gonna need them all the time. Okay, guys, so we got Britney Spears on the phone. Britney, are you there? I'm here. So, um, I just want to know, what was it like working with me? I don't know. You know what? When I did Slave and Boys, when I was in the studio, I don't know what it was, but I felt really um, at ease with the songs and stuff and the whole vibe of them. Like, it was, they're the most sexual songs that I've ever had to sing, so I guess you brought a little bit of that out of me. <laughs> okay. He's written songs for Britney about boys and songs for Justin about girls. Don't you be my girlfriend. You might want to ask Pharrell about it because I think it had a little bit of personal meaning to him. I think there was somebody in his life. You might have thought that was about him and Britney, right? But it wasn't. It was about me and this girl who I wanted to be seeing at the time. And now we are seeing each other. She just didn't get at the time that the other guy was just was a loser. In the past year alone, Pharrell and his Neptune partner, Chad, put the funk into R&B, <laughs> groove into rock, and flavor into hip-hop. So I knew them before I had a deal. When this back, man, when they was selling tracks for dirt cheap, mm -hmm. you know what i You can't get them tracks for them prices no more, man. With the money flowing and the hits still coming, Pharrell's calling the shots. Who are those two guys right there? Bring those two guys up. No, can't be me. I'm a rock star. And while his own group, NERD, wasn't nominated for any VMAs, Four songs Pharrell has produced are up for Moon Men tonight. In fact, he's already been invited to share the spotlight with at least one nominee. If we win with Slave tonight, are you gonna you, you gonna shout me out? Yeah, I'll shout you out. If you wanna come up there with me, you can. Like I would ever get an award, but okay. Yeah, we'll we'll have to do that, okay? Okay. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sitting here with one of the newest stars of the VMAs, hey. Michelle Branch. How are you? I'm good. Is this your first VMAs? I mean, it's such a big deal here today. This, this is my first VMAs as a nominee. I was yeah. here last year in the bloody nose section. I had binoculars and I was going, wait, I think who's that's Denner? Brittany, who's Denner? I know. Right. Exactly. So today, though, I mean, it's a today. completely different feeling, isn't yeah. it? To come it's here, your album's out, you're walking down the red carpet, people are screaming. What does it feel like? Oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even explain. I, I didn't even think about it until we were yeah. pulling up in the car and I went, oh my gosh, you guys, I think my legs just turned to jello. <laughs> and I was like, not because I'm here, but because of everyone that's yeah. around and involved. And now, all week long, fans have been excitedly voting on your outfits. I mean, they really wanted to yes, help you pick something they did. out. And 49% <laughs> 49 of them voted for that black suit. Yes. You chose this beautiful Missoni gown. I actually ended gown. up choosing this Missoni yeah. dress. And this was um, your second favorite, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I don't know. I was I was wanting to wear the suit, and I was like, you know what? A, a lot of people won't expect me to wear a dress, so yeah. I'm just going to go out, and I'm going to do it. And I loved it. I fell oh, in love cute. with this dress. Thank you. It's not Very easy much. dressing for the VMAs. It isn't. I mean, the whole world is sort of watching, and what is she wearing? It's what worse than the prom. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, you look fabulous. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. It's Congratulations. Nice to see you. Thank you. Absolutely. John, you got some stars for us? Yes, thank you so much, and I am joined by a woman who has quite simply had an amazing year so far, and it's going to get even more so tonight, I think. Pink, good to see you, as thank always. You. <laughs> uh, let me ask you about that year, because, you know, I just keep thinking how gratifying it must be, because I remember when the album was first coming out, you were talking to me about how much this record meant to you, and how it was so much more you, and to have it so well received, triple platinum, three singles, I mean, it just, it must be amazing, right? It's a little surreal. It feels really good, though. It's yeah. been... I can't even describe it. It's been a crazy year, but it was, at first I was kind of like, yeah, now I get to say I told you so. <laughs> exactly. So I'm happy. Let I'm me happy ask you about likes it. this outfit tonight. Is this anything? This is custom by Trish Somerville and my new tats I'm rocking. Yes. It didn't hurt at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Your threshold of pain must be very high. Well, yeah. <laughs> Special performance. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Is <laughs> anything special planned tonight for your performance? You're doing Just Like a Pill, right? Uh, we're trying to recreate the video a little bit, but not really, so it's going to be very sexy. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a uh, microphone. It's okay. Huh? it's okay, yes. I should know how to use these things. It's very sexy. I know you're a rock fan, and uh, coming up later in the show tonight is sort of a face-off between these two new bands, The Hives and The Vines. You like uh, those guys? Absolutely. Definitely. It's a couple sure. of my favorite bands as well. We want to see Buckethead. They absolutely. <laughs> Is he here with Axel? You know, I don't know. I haven't seen. I, I haven't so. seen them yet. Um, I love his cat. <laughs> we'll see. Have a great night, okay? Thank you Best so much. Best of luck. Thank All right. You. Speaking of the hives and the vines, we're going to check in with Gideon right now with more on that. Thanks a lot, John. You know, after the crowds walk the red carpet, they come here to the lobby of Radio City Music Hall to sit down for what is probably one of the best live shows that anyone will see all year. And while people like Bruce and Eminem and Ja Rule have gotten a lot of the glory so far, mark my words, it is likely that the Vines and the Hives will put on the most high-voltage performance this evening. They've had big airwaves, excuse me, big entrees this year. And if you're not that familiar with either of the bands, they're pitting up in a battle of the bands tonight, so here's a chance to take a look at the competition, the Hives and the Vines. Australia. Sweden. Both have made great contributions to world society. Their latest exports, the Vines. And the Hives. Tonight, the Vines and the Hives will duke it out on stage for supremacy. The Vines have already impressed the critics over at Rolling Stone, while the Hives have won over Kurt Loder. Here's a look at how else they match up. Tour history. The Vines aren't big fans of the stage. They played less than 50 gigs before scoring a record deal last year. As for the Hives, they've been slugging it out for 10 years. We always assumed that we'd never be popular in our own lifetime, like all great artists. Advantage, the Hives. Showmanship. Vines Vox, Craig Nichols, and Hive singer Pelle Almfist both have a reputation for onstage hyperactivity. Nichols, however, prefers to unleash his frustrations on his equipment. <laughs> While the Hives are only breaking hearts. <laughs> for sheer unbridled destruction, advantage, the Vines. What's in a name? Believe it or not, both the Hives and the Vines shared the letters I, V, E, and S. I, V, E, S. 
This, however, has nothing to do with their music. I like how sophisticated the I and the V sounded. Like, I didn't know what it was. Like, <laughs> I just thought these letters were amazing. Advantage, both. And finally, the exit visa. Not every band that winds up on our shores gets the green card from fans. Witness recent deportations back to Australia and Sweden. Advantage, neither. Ah, uh, rock and roll. You've seen it before, but what a great concept. You know, when the herds are done here and the show is over and they head out to the after parties to get their drink on, your diligent MTV News crew will be making sense of the highlights live and taking your comments. But the only way that we can do that is if, during a break, you go to mtvnews.com and tell us what you think of the highlights, the lowlights, the fashion, the sounds, everything. Now, coming up, we've got a lot more in the live show, including Avril Lavigne performing from the marquee to the fans over on 6th Avenue, and a lot more from the red carpet. Stick around. just got here and already we're gonna put whether I'm gonna leave or not on the line. I'm worried that I'm not gonna complete this mission because this is the most disgusting, horrifying thing anybody can do to somebody. Today on Chef Wars, Kuvion takes on Taco Bell crew member Scott. Gentlemen, using only the ingredients before you create a complete meal, begin! Curious, Scott's using a bowl. How unusual. He's adding seasoned rice, beans, and... Ooh, grilled all-white meat chicken. Marvelous. He's finished! The zesty chicken border bowl. Le package total. Scott wins! Cool. <laughs> to get the total package, think outside the bun. Winter fresh. It's icy cold bread. It's 24-7. It's... Hey, yo, run, go tell your neighbors about this avalanche of flavor that Winter Fresh has now gave you even longer to savor the icy crisp. Cool sensation that you get when you unwrap a stick and leave your breath frost bit. So be sure to seize this opportunity, please. Make sure your breath is fresh. Don't bring nobody to their knees. Grab a stick of Winter Fresh and turn it down a few degrees. Winter Fresh. Winter Fresh Network, where icy cool breath is always on. And as they left the body behind, they hurt. Need to make click call? Oh, it's not if you use 1-800-CALL-ATT, just dial down the center with 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. It's free for you and cheap for them. Save on every call. Use 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. What a great story. Thanks. Have you guys heard the one about phone hands? Ah! I'm going skinny dipping. Ah! I got some bad news for you, dude. You're not playing ultimate with us? Oh, man, this is going to take a long time. I gotta be angry, and then I gotta chase these urchins. Tell the director you got a class. I'm not even enrolled this semester. Please believe Reebok classics is the hottest thing loose. No matter if you keep them laced up or got the strings loose. So if it's called trouble, we be okay. If I walk in R double E, be okay, you know? Oh, the Reebok Classics. So what you think? Fabulous. Yeah, they are hot, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Splash your skin clear with Clearasil 3-in-1 Acne Defense Cleanser. It fights three main causes of acne, kills bacteria, unclogs pores, deep cleans. And Clearasil works 75% better than Neutrogena. For clear skin, Clearasil. <laughs> doing? He's looking for the bag of all purple M&Ms. Why purple? Because purple won the global color vote. If he finds the bag, he could win 100 million yen. That's over $700,000. Yes, roughly. Commence Operation Coco. Look in bags, you can win. Look in bags, you can win. Look in bags, you can win. This Friday. Is it hot in here at first? Just me. Meet the new girl. Whoa. She is smoking. I have a girlfriend. It's okay, I want you to. I'm with Amy. It's great to finally meet your mother. You just met me. You have 81 new emails. Gotcha. 
We tested positive for steroids. <laughs> you off the team. By the way, I think I've left my panties in your car. Hey! Uh, surprise! A swim fan. Oh, I pretend like it never happened. Rated PG-13. Friday, only in theaters. Monday at 10.30. It's going to be a wild night. The girls take over Vegas.